And another nuclear facility is also showing its age. The United Nations nuclear watchdog says its work is at risk because the laboratory used to analyze nuclear samples taken in Iran and other countries is badly outdated. UN TV reports on the upgrades that the International Atomic Energy Agency says are expensive but necessary. The analysis by the Safeguards Analytical Laboratory in Cybersdorf, Austria, is key to detecting whether countries are diverting nuclear materials to make weapons. IAEA chief Mohammed El Baradai warned of chronic and corrosive underfunding at a recent Board of Governors meeting in Vienna. To put it plainly, the agency's ability to provide independent and timely analysis of safeguard samples, one of the cornerstones of the safeguard regime, is at risk because of aging technical infrastructure and analytical equipment at our safeguard analytical laboratory. Almost 40 million euros was needed, one third of which to replace aging equipment and install latest detection tools like a mass spectrometer. You can measure also plutonium and plutonium is of course important in respect to illicit trafficking or to the production of nuclear bombs. Inspectors bring back around 2,000 samples from nuclear facilities across the globe every year for analysis at the lab. The samples arrive in many forms, from a swipe of dust or water to dirt samples like these taken in Iraq before the 2003 war. The independent scientific data reinforced the IAEA's finding that Saddam Hussein had not expanded his nuclear program. We need to upgrade because uh, the laboratory, specifically this part where uh, the nuclear samples are being analyzed, these can be also very hot samples, high radioactivity, is uh, more than 30 years old. And of course, after 30 years, you have uh, a degrading infrastructure. And we have looked into the possibility for renovation, but renovation would in the end cost more than building a complete new laboratory. For UN Television, this is Kirsty Hansen for CNN World Report.